So now we are going to our next sequence. Going to our next sequence. See? Let me adjust the camera. Everyone can see. We are going to our next sequence. So here what is important is for us to identify at what's happening. So our next sequence. I'm going to read the statement. The statement says motor one first and motor two. If motor one is stopped, then motor two will stop. Motor two cannot cannot stop on its own. They say motor two it cannot stop on its own. So uh, motor one first and motor two. And if motor one is stopped, then motor two will stop. Okay. So uh, the principle we the procedure it says that motor one first, then motor two. Let us confirm right now that uh, we do get the same result. So I switch on. Okay. So now I go to motor two. I press motor two. There's nothing happening. So right now I just press motor one. Motor one is running. We are expecting that motor two must start running. So I press it. Nothing is happening. I did press it. Nothing is happening. So I want you, you and me, to fix this phone to troubleshoot what's happening, to check what's happening in this panel because. If it doesn't work like this, which means there is something wrong. So you must make sure that uh, on your labels, you must make sure where you connect, uh, on your start, where you connect. Make sure that you connect on the exact point. Because sometimes we are in rush, we forgot to connect to the right point. So it is very good for you to commission after doing the wiring before you press the start button or before you call your facilitator. Let me take you, let, let us, me and you identify the fault. So here the fault is here. The A1 here. We did not supply A1. Just remember, for you to complete these statements I just designed here, is to introduce normally open only for motor 1 to connect to motor 2. So that if I press motor 1 before motor 2 started, it won't start because I must press motor 1 first to run, then motor 2. It will run. Let us confirm that thing. So let me uh, fix it. Very quick, let me confirm. You are with me there? Let us just confirm so that we can pass our second sequence. Second sequence. Let's just confirm right now that what's happening? We were doing the four findings. So we already got the four. Because it's very, it's very important for you to understand your components. First, you must understand your components. What's happening with your components? Because the statement says when motor one stops, even the motor two must stop. So you must consider in, in your mind right now. So let's go here. I go back, I press, I go, switch it on. Then I press motor one, nothing. Then I press motor two, nothing. It's not running. It's correct according to the statement. Then I go to motor one, I press it, it's running. Then I go to motor two. Wow, motor two is running right now. So I try to switch off motor one. Okay. Then I press it, it's running. Then when I switch off motor one, both motors must stop. it must stop. Switch off. Then check both motors had stopped. So which means it is correct. Motor one first, then motor two. Motor two, it can't start before motor one. Because motor one, the normally open, it changes the state. It's allowed motor two to start. So I go back again. Motor two first, I think it's okay. But when I press motor one, it's right. Then I press motor two, it is right. So which means the statement is correct. Emergency, it must switch all the motors. I think it's happening. So you must identify the point what is happening. Okay? So, so as you see. So it's very important guys, to understand the procedure. What's happening here? You must understand the procedure, what's happening. So what? Wow.